The Flycart 30 cargo transport system supports manual transport and flight route-based transport. Manual transport. On the home screen of the remote controller, tap enter camera view. Ensure the drone is functioning normally. Set control stick mode to your preferred mode. When the cargo case is empty, the value of weight should be less than 0.5 kilograms. If the value exceeds 0.5 kilograms, weight sensor calibration is required. Pull the latch to open the cargo case. Place the cargo in the center of the cargo case and secure the cargo. Pull the latch to close the cargo case. The drone will automatically weigh the cargo. Do not overload the cargo case. Check the center of gravity of the cargo case on the screen. The point indicating the center of gravity will turn red when it is shifted too far. Adjust the cargo placement until the red point turns white. When everything is ready, manually fly the drone towards the target waypoint. During the flight, you can press C3 to enable cruise control. Then, you can press C3 again or the flight pause button to disable cruise control. When the drone reaches the target waypoint, you can manually land the drone with the help of the FPV view. If the video transmission signal from the target waypoint is weak, or the landing area has a complex environment, the dual control function can be enabled to allow a pilot at the target waypoint to land the drone by using remote controller B while visually observing the drone. The pilot at the start point uses remote controller A to fly the drone towards the target waypoint. When the drone is approaching the target waypoint, the pilot at the target waypoint can take control of the drone by pressing the switch control button on remote controller B. The switch control button turns solid green, indicating that remote controller B has gained control. At this point, the pilot at the target waypoint can control the drone to land and unload the cargo. Pilot A can press and hold the switch control button. When the switch control button turns solid blue, Pilot B will not be able to take control. Pilot A can disable the lock mode by pressing the switch control button. Close the cargo case after unloading the cargo. Check the status of the drone, keep a safe distance, and fly the drone. Fly the drone back to the takeoff point. At this point, the pilot at the start point can press the switch control button to regain control. Flight route-based transport. On the home screen, tap the flight route icon to enter the flight route library. Tap the search icon to search for the flight route based on the flight route name. Tap the filter icon to sort flight routes by time or name for easier navigation. Tap select to select the desired flight routes. You can copy, delete, or share the selected flight routes as well as add them to favorites. Tap a flight route to enter the flight route editing screen. After confirming the flight route, tap the flight task start icon in the top left corner to go to the pre-flight check screen. Ensure everything is in order and then tap next. On the waypoint route checklist screen, double check the information to ensure everything is correct and then tap to upload the flight route. Tap start to start cargo transport. During the transport, the pilot must keep an eye on the status of the drone. The pilot can press the flight pause button if any risks are detected during the flight. The drone will stop moving immediately and hover. After confirming that the environment is safe, the pilot can resume the flight from the break point. If there are risks on the original flight route, the pilot can manually navigate the drone to avoid those risks and choose to continue with the flight route from the next waypoint. In case of an emergency, the pilot can manually fly the drone to an alternate landing site or fly it back to the start point. Take note that in dual battery mode, the maximum payload of the drone is 30 kilograms, and the maximum flight distance with a full payload is 16 kilometers. You can enable battery hot swapping in aircraft battery in settings for efficient battery swapping. After removing a battery, you must install another one before the countdown ends. Otherwise, the drone will automatically shut down. In single battery flight mode, the maximum payload of the drone is 40 kilograms, and the maximum flight distance with a full payload is 8 kilometers. It is recommended to use the front battery compartment for better flight stability. Enable single battery flight in aircraft battery in settings. 
Install a battery compartment cover for the rear battery connector. At this point, the battery level of the drone is displayed as the total battery level. Tap the battery icon to view battery parameters.